Hi, I'm Judy Machado Duke, author of Life Purpose Playbook and founder of Productivity Goddess. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a few amazing tips on how to optimize your Instagram. Now, make sure you watch this video until the end so that you can get a copy of my part two training series for free. So let's begin. Okay, so I am so excited to have you here because about a year ago, I bought a program from Shauna Sincerely on how to optimize your Instagram. Uh, there were lots of amazing tips on there. I've since learned so many others too. So exciting how there are really some secrets out there. But once we know these secrets, really simple secrets on how to optimize our Instagram, our YouTube, any other social media platforms you're using, you can really create some incredible growth and some beautiful collaborations, conversations, collaborations, new connections, these very simple techniques. So let's begin. So here we have how to optimize your Instagram. Let me just put this in presentation mode. There we go. Okay, so let's begin. So the very first step you wanna do is create a list of your clients' hashtags. So you really wanna think about your ideal client. Who is that client? You wanna be very clear, first of all, on who is this ideal client of yours. And that's, that's for another training. Hopefully you already have that clear. And then what you wanna do is think of what hashtags are, is that client using? Because it's those hashtags that are so critical that you use as well. Because people are gonna find you, your ideal clients are gonna find you through those hashtags. So create a list of some of your clients' hashtags. Here's an example, actually, one of my interns was actually just creating this right now on Canva. So I decided to pull it out here, it's not complete, but she had started a little list of product you got as hashtags. So business vibes, creative business, entrepreneurship, good vibes, girl boss party, girl boss quotes. She had all these different, which I haven't even looked at these yet, but uh, here's an example of how she just made it look pretty on Canva and so that you can have it somewhere so that you're very clear and if any of your team is working with you, they're all very clear on what those hashtags are. And this can be a running list too. You can just keep adding to it as well, which is so cool. So first of all, create this list. Step two is add them to your notes in your phone, which is usually right here. So the notes, you go in there and you click in there, whoops. And I have lots and lots and lots of notes in there and you just find it make sure that it's easily accessible and add it to your phone. I'll tell you why in a minute. First of all, you wanna add all these dots before, so like period, enter, period, enter, period, enter, all the way here, add a, quite a few of these, and then start your hashtags. And the reason for that is that when we're gonna post them in a minute, you really don't want all the hashtags to be seen right away in your comments. It's really cool if you don't actually see the comment right away, you just see these dots. Because otherwise it can look a little bit salesy or a little bit formal. So that's one of the, the really cool tips. So you want to have 30 hashtags. Why do you want to have 30? Because Instagram allows you to have a maximum of 30 hashtags per post. Why wouldn't you post or create and post all 30 hashtags? Why would you only post three hashtags when you can post up to 30? So it's important to have them already created on your phone so that you're not, every time you're, you're, you know, you're creating a new post, you're not sitting there trying to think of, you know, which hashtag should I use today? Because that can be a waste of time. Why not have about 25 that you use all the time that are here? 25 that are always here, you just copy and paste, and then you have the extra five which are relevant to that post, whatever that post was for, the, for that day. Maybe it's more of a lifestyle post rather than a teaching post. So you might have um, five hashtags that are relevant to that lifestyle uh, post that you've just done. So here, uh, so let's move on to step three is you wanna cut and paste into your post as a comment, just like we talked about earlier. So you literally want to go, let me just go into my Instagram here and show you. You want to go into your Instagram, right? So here's my Instagram, Productivity Goddess Instagram. And let's say you've just created a new post. So let's pick this one, my most recent one. Whoops, there we go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be the first person to comment after you post, be the first person to comment. So go to your little comment button, that one right there, and click that, okay? And then you're gonna cut and paste right there. Cut from your notes and paste right in here so that you become the first and to actually include all those hashtags so people can find you right away. So let me just share with you what that should look like. So here it is. So there it is with all the dots. Can you see all the dot, 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 dot? And then there are all the hashtags, which is also here on the slide. 
as you can see. So an amazing tip for you. Okay, let's talk about new follower search. So one thing I have one of my interns do for me every day, this is so fantastic. If you have a team, whether it's a team in your business, whether it's interns, just someone who can do this for you ideally every single day, it's, it's so easy to systemize it and then someone can follow through with it. And so here it is, it's finding new followers. And what you do is you create again a list of your hashtags. We talked about that, right? So you're gonna have your list of your hashtags so that you, if you're doing this, or you can hand this list to someone else who's gonna do this for you. And step two is to daily search those hashtags and like those with 10 likes or less. So let's break this into two. So you wanna daily search those hashtags. So every day, you wanna actually search the hashtags that we just identified, and here's how you do that. You go back into Instagram here. So there again is my Productivity Goddess Instagram, right? You can see it right there. And you wanna to go to this search button. To the search button right there, so just click that. And then you're going to, up top, right up top there, you're gonna to type one of your hashtags. So let's say one of mine was mompreneur, okay? Mompreneur, I'm gonna type it right there, mompreneur. And then you're going to search. So here, here's what happens. You get all these hashtags, mompreneur. So I'm gonna pick the first one because there's mompreneur, there's mompreneur life, there's all these mompreneur cool hashtags. That's cool because that's gonna give you other ideas depending on the number. It's gonna show you the number of posts, how popular they are, so that you can actually um, add that to your list as well. But I'm gonna pick mompreneur for now, right? Mompreneur. So I go in there and now I see all of these posts, right? And typically the ones typically at the top have a lot of likes. You don't really want to um, probably spend too much time liking those because what's gonna happen is if you like someone's post who has thousands of likes, you think that person is sitting there all day long and just kind of checking, oh, who's liking my post? Probably not. You really want to like any of the posts who have 10 likes or less. Why? Because those people typically have a smaller following. They may or may not be new to social media. And typically, they're going to be out there checking, oh my goodness, who's liking my posts? And that's important because when they see that you like them, they're going to they're gonna say to themselves, whoa, who is this? I don't know this person. This isn't one of my friends. And then they're going to go check you out on your wall. And that's for a whole other training too, is what does your wall look like? Um, but again, this is something that you do every single day. So I hope that was helpful too. Right, so here you have an example of what I just showed you on my phone. So here is a screenshot of me searching for mompreneur and see all these other posts that came up, all these other hashtags and how many. So this one's obviously really popular, mompreneur. So when you click on that, that's when you get all these different options. And I chose this woman here, Cal Shep is her name. She has her two daughters, so cute, sitting on the top of the stairs. And she says, do you feel overwhelmed today with all the things that need to be done? She has 11 likes, perfect. So I would like this post. I would like it because A, there's approximately 10 likes or so, or you know more or less. I love the picture. How cute is that, these two girls reading? And I absolutely love her message too about being overwhelmed uh, with the things that need to be done. So she's, she's sharing a little bit of her, of her story or something that's worked for her. Okay. Now we're going to talk about new followers communication. I don't actually have a training for this part at the end of this video, but I would love for you to leave your name and your email uh, in the description below so that I can send you the rest of this training. So basically what happens when you get, you know, you, you've searched those people like mompreneur, you've searched all those people, 10 likes or less, they look at their phone and they say, wow, who's productivity goddess? And they go to my wall, all of a sudden they're inspired with all, you know, my wall, the quotes, the messages, the pictures, they follow. How can you stay, how can you communicate with this person? How can you build a relationship very easily with this person and start to build an authentic relationship with them? Well, here's a great strategy. You wanna create an opt-in, of course, on your website, something that you're gonna give them for free. Step two, you wanna create a welcome message and save it on your phone in your notes, just like we talked about, so you can cut and paste every time you have a new follower. Step three, copy and paste that welcome note to each new follower. Step four, when they reply with their email address, because you're gonna ask for it, uh, but there's a particular way in writing that message. Because you, again, you don't want it to be salesy and you really do want to authentically serve and support that person. Um, so again, make sure you leave your email so that you can see an example of what that can look like. Um, so when they reply with their email address, add them to your opt-in and send them your follow-up 
just move this message. <laughs> so there you have it. I hope that that was so helpful for you. Um, I love these uh, very simple techniques. It might take a little bit of time to just have them become something that you do unconsciously, sort of just really quickly. Um, and I promise you, when you do, you're going to see your followers skyrocket. So I hope that's helpful. Again, leave your email in the description below so that you can get more amazing videos like this, more amazing PDF document downloads for free, more amazing tips and techniques, and more amazing connection with uh, our community and uh, hopefully even potential collaborations because I believe collaborations are the way of the future. How can we all get together and support each other in building our businesses, creating a happier and more fulfilled life and creating a bigger impact. Together, we are stronger. Thanks, love. Bye.